Hey, I'm Obake-san's ghost, and we are doing part four of Link's Decision 2, Kronos, The Tears of Fate. We're finally up to the decision part of the game. We've got to select the class out of the four. We listened to that guy talk about the four different classes, so we don't have to listen to him again. I'm not going to say what my choice is yet, but we still have to uh, get there from here. Um, choosing a class was the whole concept for Link's Decision 1 back in 2007. You had to select the wizard or the knight. And even the Triforce dungeons required um, the class items and they split off into different paths or different areas for each class. Here you don't actually have to select a class. If you prefer, you can just uh, play classless, uh, class free, I don't know. But um, honestly, in that situation, I prefer getting the knight and then just not going for any of the uh, class dungeons because the badge doesn't really help you much and um, it gives you cheap shops so that that's definitely a plus um, and I guess I should keep talking about the classes real quick the knight was offense and defense uh, sword slash the thief uh, that one actually, you should check out the uh, Rogue game. It's part 3x of this um, Let's Play, and it shows going straight from selecting the Thief to uh, level 6 and getting the Mirror Shield and Flippers immediately. Um, so that's a... Uh, something interesting the thief can do and not the only thing they can do out of order uh, then there's the monk here he gets the hammer which breaks dark nut shields you can attack them from all four sides then but uh, mine is gonna be the wizard which I think actually is the hardest class to play as and you might notice that wizard is not spelled correctly here and it's been that way from the start hasn't been changed. Well, there's a reason for that. Um, there is a book series called Discworld, which had a couple of TV shows and uh, specials that uh, came after. And one of the main characters of it is Rincewind the Wizard. And he's just a terrible wizard in general. Um, can't do any spells, and uh, he wears a really tattered hat that has wizard spelled with two Z's on it. So um, it's pretty uh, pathetic of a wizard, and that's going to be our teacher. So you can see the path behind us has, um, well, I can't say closed because now it's an open uh, pit, but we can't get back. Uh, so we can't select a different class at this point. It is good to see a new student. You wish to be able to control magic. Unfortunate for you, it's just me here. I don't do any actual spells, but here's a wand. Don't know what to do? No harm in that. I've never known what to do. Be been completely lost at... Completely had to lost my whole life. I think it's called being human or something. Good luck, I'll be cowering here. So, we don't actually learn any spells. We just get a magical item from him. Uh, and fortunately it does not waste magic to use it, so that's definitely a plus. But when you get later into the game, it doesn't really help you so much. So, um... Not as helpful as you might think. Uh, wait, this is the only time you'll be offered this, but it's optional. Um, aside from being terrible at magic, Ritzwind was the assistant librarian at the magical library at the Wizard University. So even though he doesn't have uh, the ability to use spells, he does have access to a lot of magic books. Um, not that they just let you move them around like that, but... 
we got the wand book, so now when it ends, it turns into a fireball. And since we can't get hurt by our own fireballs, we don't have to worry about uh, staying back from wand magic. That was definitely an annoyance in the original game. And yeah, now you're cut off, you can't select anything. So what we're gonna do now is head downstairs and take a look at the class dungeon area. On the left hand side, these are uh, hookshot grab points. It's hard to tell with this uh, background, but those are signposts. So the thief can get across with the uh, hookshot. Then to the north, fellow knight, welcome. If you'll just let me check your badge, you can go through and pick it up in the next room. The knight gets a badge. He can go through uh, certain areas by showing it. We've got none of that. Here we have these things that you might recognize from Zelda 3. You can hammer them, so that would be what the monk can do. And then down here is the wizard section. All we have to do is uh, hit that. And the dungeon over here, both the wizard and the thief can access it. And the dungeon over here, the monk and the wizard. So uh, these dungeons uh, and class items are common, but each one only gets two out of the four that are uh, in the four corners here. So we're going to start with this one. Uh, class 1, 2. So, uh, I don't know if we really want to be on that item for the moment. But let's take a look this way first. Those spikes definitely need, I need to avoid those but they do no more damage to me now than they would with uh, even the uh, gold armor, which the wizard doesn't do. Uh, you know, I really should buy a magic shield. I'm getting really close to um, having full money with the wallet that I have. Uh, these guys can get annoying. They move around pretty fast, but they do uh, a decent amount of damage when you touch them. So they're kind of uh, a little uh, risky to fight without any harm. Uh, those are the kids of the Dig Dogger, which you have to play the whistle for to break up into the little pieces. Okay, some keys and the center traps. Easy enough. We've got some moblins here. And you might notice something about this dungeon. There's a couple of hookshot points here. The thief can actually get out of this dungeon with one spare key. So, um, that's another bonus to the thief. You can do it. There's a few areas where you can get extra keys from. Okay, some blue dark nuts. Simple enough. Uh, the magic wand does not work on them. Actually, let me test one thing with that. I know the magic doesn't hurt them. But does hitting them... Yes, hitting them with it still hurts them. Interesting side thing that you can do with the wand. Even uh, if it required magic, you'd be able to whack them in the head with it without any uh, of your magic remaining. I guess that's everything in this direction. Yeah, 
don't even need to bother with them. I'm almost at full money. I've got all the bombs I need and I have full health. Had full health. Alright, have full health. We'll have had full health again. Oh. These puzzles are uh, always annoying, but fortunately there's not a whole lot of them where you have to push blocks for long distances. And it's definitely not the last one uh, we'll encounter, but they take so long it was eh, better to not have a whole lot of them. So slow. Um, you gotta cover every gray switch on the level with a block in order to open the door. I guess you could have it do other things and open a door too, but I don't recall ever using that for something else in this quest. Uh, this is a new thing we haven't seen yet in this uh, quest. You might recognize these from Zelda 3. Just hit it and it switches back and forth. So, you can hit it with anything other than the flung sword. Uh, you can use bombs if you need to time it or whatever. You could uh, hit it on a diagonal. Although sometimes that doesn't work quite right. And I don't know need either of those clocks, cause whatever. Um, fine. Oh, this is a lot of keys. Yeah, no way I'm going through that puzzle a second time. But here is the first key door leading to our passageway. And this is the uh, key door that the uh, thief skips. You'll see when we get to the other side. There we go. Um, they just skip that one door. They have to hit that door. They have to hit the remaining doors. But, I mean, that's one key that you don't have to get in any future dungeon that you want. The thief is the only one in the game who has opportunities to do that. The other classes don't get to do it. Uh, some red dark nuts we've seen before. They are slow, so they're easy to uh, deal with. And some bombs, which I don't need. Alright. I guess I didn't really need to kill all of those guys, but whatever. They can't give me health, but... Oh, there's still more here. And that one is the boss key door. It's gold instead of, uh, I don't know, gray. Come on. Oh, so single-headed Gliok. They're usually not too difficult this early. Oh, especially since I have the uh, upgraded sword already. So at least this guy should be easy. Yep. And now we have the Lens of Truth. Uh, it shows secrets and stuff like that, so bombable walls, burnable bushes, uh, that kind of thing. And it uses up magic, so you really want to, like, tap it to, uh, use it instead of holding it down and walking around. And that music there, that was, uh, Zelda 2, the last temple. 
I think it's been featured in Smash Brothers too. Or also. Uh, class 1 4. So, first thing I'm gonna do is check that wall. And it shows a bomb spot. So, I'm gonna take that shortcut right away. And we're gonna make our way to the first key. Bomb of the walls never let you skip keys or anything like that, it's just for keys. Oh, I keep forgetting, I need to go get a, a shield. Two choices here. There's only one key, that's never a good sign. And no, you can't get stuck there even though it seems like having one key in each direction means you would. Or could. Nah, not how it works here. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, they got through that one okay. Uh, one of these is definitely gonna kill me. Probably several. The puzzles uh, for the blocks do get harder the farther through the game we get. Okay, that is the boss location. Uh, I don't know. enemies don't really require me to keep moving, but the stupid statues do. Okay, that's definitely good. I really could use some magic at some point here. I'm not empty or anything, but... Alright. Might as well ask for some health now, too. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, bombs are definitely worth my time. And the little bit of magic I was hoping for. I didn't really expect to get. Uh, another one of these. Push the block. So this one... I've just got to get back and forth in the shape of an N. Sort of, and at least lets you let you uh, figure out a better way to describe it. Uh, let's see, almost got caught there. Not a whole lot of room to maneuver, but that wasn't too bad. So, boss key here. Now, I'm just gonna skip right past this. Actually, I wondered. It does the one. Nope. It does not do enough to kill them in one hit. If you're the thief, the. or sorry, the, the monk, the hammer can kill those guys with one hit. Uh, I already went to the left. This way. I didn't check out up here yet. Okay. Those guys were apparently good for my health. 
Oh, let's see. Uh, the way back is easy this time. One of several ways back is likely. Now, I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't need any um, money. Ah, uh, the map. It's a fish. by the door that was shuttered instead of the door that was open. Even if it just means that I only have to worry about beating the enemies in that room once. We got our keys. Alright, uh, since the flippers are way, way out of, uh, sequence here, we are stuck with a bomb for wall, so I'm gonna have to go back to get that. This is, um, Street Fighter 2 Vegas theme. It was the guy, uh, from Spain who had the long Wolverine-type Claws, uh, his claws. There's a key. Just for fun, there's a bomb of a wall there for not really any help, but it'll let me go into this room pretty easily. Nothing here but completion. That didn't sound right, so uh, ignore that. Didn't care because I had the heart. Alright, time to bomb. You know, literally. on this level they sort of blend in with the uh, weird coloring scheme. Not really the intent, but something I noticed. And of course I still can't block those guys' shots, so... Um, oh, I picked up the key. I guess I was walking right on top of it when it appeared. The reason that you can't get yourself stuck, no matter which one of those two doors you choose first, is I still have two keys and we're at the boss door. So you can't get these until you've opened up the other path fully anyway, so there is no way you can uh, get stuck like that. Uh, let's see... Okay. And we have a manhandler. No idea what that name's supposed to mean. Uh, that was a lucky shot, they happened, but sometimes it takes more. And 
there is our Din's Fire. I'm gonna try that. It looks like I have enough magic for it, I hope. And that just burns everything in the path. So, I think I'm going to end it here. Um, and we'll continue onward to the town in the next one. Until then, thanks for watching.